Begin the installation. Take a moment to unpack and identify all the components from the PowerVision box. The PowerVision video adapter, a number 8 and number 10 Torx driver, an anti-static wrist strap, the mirror utility diskette, a new hinge screw, a replacement hinge cover, the video connector board with the internal video cable, and the mirror user manual. If anything is missing, call Mirror Technical Support for assistance. You will also need a compatible monitor with appropriate video cable and power cord and a standard paper clip. If you have not already done so, turn off your power book by selecting Shutdown from the Special menu. Close the screen. Remove the battery. Turn the computer upside down, setting it on its top. Remove the four Torx screws from the bottom of the case using the number 10 Torx driver. Turn the computer right side up with the back towards you. Open the rear door. Remove the single Torx screw located below the modem port with the number 8 Torx driver. Gently separate the top and bottom halves of the computer at the rear until you can reach the ribbon cable which connects the two halves. Disconnect the ribbon cable from its socket by pulling it gently. You can now lift the top of the computer away from the bottom. Set the bottom half of the computer aside for now. Use a paper clip to pry off the PowerBook's left hinge cover. Release the screen latch and swing the screen open. Next, take the video connector assembly with its attached cable and guide the small connector through the hinge opening. Push it diagonally towards the rear of the computer until it comes out the bottom. Turn the screen assembly over to verify that the cable has emerged in the correct position. Route the internal cable between the metal support post and the sidewall of the case. Turn the screen assembly back over and remove the left hinge screw using the number 10 Torx driver. Move the video connector back out of the way, then close and latch the screen. Set the video connector in position with the cable wrapping over the top of the hinge. Before installing the new hinge cover, take notice of the delicate ribbon cable that wraps around the PowerBook's hinge. Using a straightened paper clip, Hold the flexible ribbon cable up against the metal hinge bar so it is not pinched under the new cover. Set the new cover in place, making sure that the plastic tab on the new cover fits between the flexible cable and the PowerBook's case. Secure the connector and hinge cover using the supplied Torx screw. Do not use the original screw. Set the bottom portion of the power book in front of you with the rear cover towards you. Locate the memory expansion connector in the computer. If your power book already has a memory expansion board installed, remove it now by pulling it straight up from its socket. If you have an Apple 2 megabyte memory expansion board, you can install it on the pass-through connector on the PowerVision board. Line up the connector on the Apple memory board with the pass-through connector and press the memory board firmly into place. The Apple memory board will be parallel to and touching the mirror PowerVision board. Only Apple 2 megabyte memory boards are certified to work properly on the mirror pass-through connector. Using non-standard memory modules on the pass-through may damage your PowerBook and your PowerVision board. We are now ready to install the PowerVision board. Position the board over the PowerBook's memory connector. Push the video board firmly onto the socket. It should be parallel to the other boards in the computer. Set the top of the computer in place, lining up the front edges of the case. Be sure the plastic alignment tabs fit into the corresponding slots in the bottom half of the case. Lift the rear of the case slightly and reconnect the ribbon cable. Plug the newly installed internal video cable into the matching connector on the edge of the PowerVision board. Close the case, taking care not to pinch the internal video. 
Replace the four number 10 torque screws in the bottom of the case and the single number 8 torque screw on the rear of the computer. Replace the battery. Remove your anti-static wrist strap. Your PowerVision board is now installed so we can hook up the monitor. The mirror PowerVision display adapter will work with several mirror and Apple compatible monitors. In addition, it will operate standard VGA monitors and overhead projection panels with the appropriate cable. This chart shows the standard resolution and size combinations which are supported. The PowerVision's video connector is designed to accept Apple standard 15-pin video cables. Position your monitor so you can reach the rear panel. Plug the power cord firmly into the receptacle on the rear of the monitor. If necessary, secure the monitor's video cable to the appropriate connector on the monitor. We are using a mirror 14-inch color display, which has a permanently attached video cable. Plug the other end of the monitor's video cable into the PowerVision video connector. Connect the opposite end of the power cord to a suitable electrical outlet. The mirror PowerVision extension must be copied to your system folder and configured before you can use your external display. To install the PowerVision software, start up your Macintosh. Insert the PowerVision diskette into your floppy disk drive. Double click on the icon of the disk to view its contents. Be sure to read the Read Me First file for late-breaking information that didn't make it into the manual. To install the PowerVision extension, double-click on the PowerVision Install icon. When the Installer screen appears, click the OK button. When the Installation screen appears, verify that your startup disk is selected. If necessary, use the Switch Disk button to select a different target disk. Once you've selected your desired startup disk, click the Install button. A progress bar will appear showing the status of the installation. When the installation is complete, click the Restart button to restart your PowerBook and activate the PowerVision extension. Hold down the Option key while your PowerBook is starting up. The PowerVision Monitor Selection dialog will appear. Before your display will work properly, the video adapter must know what type and size of monitor you have connected. Use the pop-up monitor menu to specify which monitor you are using. If your monitor type does not appear in the menu, contact Mirror Technical Support for assistance. There are two other options in the Monitor Selection dialog box, Presentation Mode and Display Detection. These are covered in detail in the PowerVision user manual. For now, presentation mode should be off and display detection should be on. Click the OK button to accept your choices. The external screen will light up, but it will not be active yet. To use the monitor's control panel, choose the control panel item from your Apple menu. Your control panel folder will open. Locate the monitor's icon and double-click on it to open it. The monitor's control panel will appear. Click on the miniature picture of the monitor you want to adjust. Click grays or colors as desired. By which monitor will contain the menu bar, simply drag the miniature menu bar to the monitor of your choice. This will also be the monitor where programs will appear when launched. With the PowerVision video adapter, you can use your PowerBook's built-in screen as an extension of the external monitor. In order to be able to move the mouse naturally from one screen to another, you must drag the icons of the two monitors to match their physical positions.